Alright guys, so here we are back for uh, round three, the finals of our Modern Ape Man with uh, Bringing Gifts. I apologize for the audio issues in the last video. Um, my webcam cut out, cut out and then I think my mic turned off at the same time and didn't realize it. So I was talking to myself for a good bit of time and it's unfortunate that you missed it because I was giving a whole bunch of life lessons and secrets of the universe, things like that. Um, but we will try not to do that here. So uh, we are on the play. We have two discard spells, um, some lands, and engineered explosives. This is pretty good. Again, like we're not really playing to anything, um, but we have a lot of great top decks and you know things that we can fi find to like cobble together some sort of offensive. Um, but yeah, all this disruption is great. Definitely keeping. I think we want to lead on a discard spell on turn one. So Mr. Reinforce searching up a. Ooh. Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, Overgrown Tomb is the best land we want to get. Um, and then we can cast, like, play the Tar Pit tapped, cast another Inquisition on our uh, second turn. And we are off to the races. And so overall, I've been really impressed with the deck. Um, I think, yeah, I definitely didn't expect to do as well as uh, I've been doing with it. Uh, especially considering the limited experience that I have, but um, it's been a lot of fun just uh, being able to have access to a whole bunch of different lines of play. Um, you know, just a puzzle that you're trying to figure out while your opponent's just sitting there, tapped out, cursing at you for taking 10 minutes to make a decision. It's excellent. I love it. It's like playing control, but instead we get to do actual powerful things. Alright, so Missy Rainforest. Give me that overgrown tomb. And let's see what we're working with. Ah, the Grixis control. I love it. So bear with me while I take a picture. All right. Totally God's command. Lightning bolt, terminate, thought scour, thought seize, island, polluted delta. So we're going to take the thought seize here, and then our next inquisition is probably going to take the Holy God's command. Um, just the best value that he has. The webcam is frozen again. Um, I'm just taking his disruption and then his ways to like accumulate advantage, card advantage. So, thought seize pass. <laughs> Our opponent goes polluted delta here. Bloodstained Mire. Alright. So we know what he drew. Um, we'll grab this Cole Young's Command. We even have a Path Exile if he uh, plays Jace, which he should be playing Jace. I don't know if he has it or not, but he should have it. Jace is the truth. It's being played in Vintage. Right, Watergrave Thought Scour. Lingo Liliana, so yeah, so the the thought seize alongside the Liliana um, makes it more more likely that he has Jace in his deck. There he is. So. Yeah, I guess we just have to path it here. I don't really want to give him an extra land. Well, we know he has a third land. Yeah, we can just path it. Um, the engineered explosives, I guess we play on two for a follow-up, Jace, but if he plays Liliana, we're going to feel pretty bad, so maybe we just hold it. Um, I guess if he does play Liliana, we can attack it with the tar pit. No, he'll have four lands, so he'll be able to leave Lightning Bolt up. Yeah, so we just play Planes, uh, Path as Jace, and then Pass. Because he's going to get an extra land for here, and then he's going to play a fourth land. Um, so he can hold up the Lightning Bolt that we know he has. If he draws Liliana, he can like play Liliana plus it and protect it. So we want to... Um... So 
So like attacking the tar pit isn't going to work. Let's go our Mildred of the Jace. Let's see Meyer. Looks like he doesn't have much. Uh, he has a Terminate and a Lightning Bolt that we know about and two random cards. Um, and a Polluted Delta, I think. Does he milled this one? No, he, I think he played this one. Birds is gonna die. Again, all we really care about is his counter spells and um, his ways to uh, like give himself inevitability and like generate advantage. Those are his planeswalkers, uh, Jason, Liliana. I guess he could drop a gigantic Tassiger and start beating us, but he doesn't play many of those. If he casts the Lightning Bolt, we could force him to use the Terminate. That doesn't seem very good though. We have more threats in our deck than he does. But when we add in the answers that he has, I think he's got me beat. So I actually want him to be casting Planeswalkers here rather than Tassiger. Um, He'll be able to get like the immediate use out of the Liliana, but uh, I'll be more likely to be able to get rid of it with Engineered Explosives, whereas Engineered Explosives does nothing against Tassiger. So he has a Terminate and something else. We'll see if he tries to get rid of it, or if he wants to discard the other thing. Lightning Bolt. All right, so we know he has Terminate, so we know the Engineered Explosives is resolving. So this is good. Elastorn. Gross. Um, um, I want him to make me discard this Elish Norn, so I'm just going to pass. And if he just like passes back, uh, I think I still kill it here in case I draw something. It's possibly drew another Lily out of the veil. I think he's already milled one. I think it's more likely I draw a, fi a four or five drop and want to use the mana. Temple Garden again. Um, I think we play Temple Garden. Again, him making us discard Elish Norn, uh, work fine with and then if we just get to cast it we're also fine we know he has a terminate and a random card <laughs> that's not good top top that's really not good all right maybe we wanted to hit with tar pit that turn I guess we could just animate, make him terminate, and then hope we draw a land next turn to play our own Elishorn. Seems like playing Elishorn into his terminate isn't very good. Blue, black, white. I think we just do this. We try and suck his terminate out and then hope to draw another land. He has a bolt here, that'd be really bad, because now we know he has bolt plus the terminate for the Elishnorn. Um We're not on that much of a clock, we're just taking three a turn, but he did, you know, top top off of his scry, which could mean anything. It just means that isn't they're not lands. You know, like he's might you know, he's keeping serum visions, he's probably keeping lightning bolts on top. Snapcaster's really good. He gets the Coligon's command back a Jace, make me discard my Elishnorn. That's gross.
Yep, I had a window to draw something relevant. I went through 15 cards and didn't really see it. I mean, we drew an Elshorn, which is awkward. So I guess that kind of counts, but I feel like I could have drawn a little bit better. Yep, so now he gets to play a Jace. Damnation would be good here. Water. And now it's a slow, painful death. He just wants, if he has nothing to do, he just wants to be flashing back serum visions here. We'll look at the top card. If we don't have, if we don't have anything in the next two or three turns, I think we're, I think we're done for. Eternal Witness is interesting. We need Eternal Witness back the Elishnor, and he, we know he has the Terminate. I guess we could Eternal Witness back Engineered Explosives and just kill his Jace. That doesn't do much. We're still taking five a turn. How are we winning? Guess we have to eternal witness back the uh, engineer explosives, kill his Jace. Eternal witness either trades with a snapcaster or he uses the terminate. That opens the door to us drawing either bring to light or so we have like we have four draws here. Bring to light. We technically have eight if you count in the gifts ungiven. Um pretty much anything that's not a land or a mana creature is good for us here. I think we just want to get the engineered explosives. Alright, so Jace is gone. Again, it doesn't look like our opponent has a counterspell, and there are multiple draws uh, off the top of our deck that can just like win the game for us outright. Bottom top. Not swinging with the tar pit. What does that mean? Oh, so he's picking up a snapcaster and his cool. Yeah, so he so he cast Rise uh, to return his snapcaster and his Jace to his hand and then he replayed his Jace. Now he could do it again. Like he could just, uh, I mean, he could do it one more time because Rise and Fall will be gone, but um, he can bring back his Snapcaster, replay his Jace again. Rise and Fall is like one of his best cards against me. That is not what we wanted to draw. Yeah, to, to go 20 cards without seeing um, either a Bring to Light or a Gifts Ungiven is pretty bad. Uh, that's one of the things like that Bring to Light is supposed to fix in the deck. Um, but again, it happens. <laughs> mm. 
we are now at four. Our opponent has five cards in hand. This is, I mean, the Serum Visions deck does draw a lot better than us. How many has he cast this game? Feels like he's cast way more than four, but. It's not that bad. Still kills the Jace, even through the plus. But he can answer it with Lightning Bolt, um, Terminate. We're at six, plus the Jace. Oh no. He got me. All right, so game two. Um, so we definitely want the dispel. We definitely want the negate. Um, Lingering Souls is awesome. I think we uh, Sigurd is actually really interesting. Um, especially because he's got uh, Liliana. It's just like a uh, huge thing that's impossible, for, almost impossible for him to deal with. Um, so I think it's worth bringing in. I'm bringing the Lingering Souls. Um, the Negate, the Dispel. And I think that's about it. Celestial so Purge hits his Liliana and his Dull Creatures. But I don't know if it's really what I'm looking for. <coughs> Excuse me. We can cut Damnation. We can cut the Elder Snorn. Um, yeah, Abrupt Decay is awesome. All of our discard spells are great. I seem to, I seem to be cutting Azure Explosives pretty often. I'm not cutting Glenelendra. The card's insane in this matchup. We could cut a Thrag Tusk. No, not Thrag Tusk. Uh, um, the uh, Murderous Cut. But I like having another answer to a Delve creature. Um, I could see being on the play, cutting one mana guy. Leaves us one cut. I guess Soul Tide Charm is a little unimpressive. It does the same thing Murder's Cut does, but it's expensive. Um, and the draw two, discard a card. Doesn't seem like it's worth the three mana. I might just cut the Soul Tide Charm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play it like this. I'm gonna play first. I'll keep. Not the hand I was looking for. Opponents on a mulligan to six. I apologize, guys. Not feeling very well. We'll see how we scry, though. It doesn't really matter. Kept it on top. Doesn't tell us anything. Tarpet go. Tarpet go. I think this wants to get us a hallowed fountain. Can't get us Hallow Fountain. Um, yeah, we're just gonna counter this. And then Eternal Witness to get it back. Alright, uh, so we can't grab white, but we can grab another blue source to animate our tar pit. Um, 
Another bike source would be great for Raven's Crime. Oh, it can get us Temple Garden. Yeah, so it can get us white. Well, black, red, white, blue. Well, it needs to give us a green source. Yeah, okay. So it needs to give us a green source so we can cast Eternal Witness. So it's either Temple Garden or Overgrown Tomb. Um, we don't need... Yeah, I th okay. We're going to grab Temple Garden. Sorry. I'm still figuring it out. Negate ya. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> That's so gross. Yeah, so he's going to take the total witness. That was rough. Right back at you, buddy. Um, yep, dispel to counter his, uh, or to take his, no, the spell to stop him from countering our gifts ungiven. He'll be able, he knows we have the gifts ungiven, so he'll be able to just, like, full an mage, blow up a land. Which I'm fine with. We'll have to, like, we might have to go score to ourselves to get an island. Yeah, I think we take the spell. <laughs> yeah, so he blows up our creeping tar pit here. Um, but that's okay. This puts him on um, Thought Scour random card. Mr. Averus can give us our watery grave, but we still have all five colors of mana. Take that, Fulminator Mage. Thoughts Gower looking for another blue source or something to do? Don't tell me you found another Thoughtseize. Don't tell me this. Say it ain't so. All right, bring in the beats. Okay. So we have a million options. Um, he has two cards we don't know about. We could just go for value here, but he's also beating us down with Tassiger. I feel like lingering souls in the hand. Um, lingering souls, murderous cut, umburial rights, snapcaster mage is good. That'll that means he'll give us some burial rights in the hand and lingering souls, Snapcaster Mage, Murderous Cut in the graveyard. Um, this gives us chumpers for a couple turns, and then we can unburial rights back the Eternal Witness. <laughs> Another option is just going for it next turn and just casting an Iona, um, making it where he can't cast black spells. Maybe he hits a fourth land. He can, like, do stuff with Tassiger. He might be able to draw his way out of that. Yeah, I, I think I like Murderous Cut, Unburial Rites, Snapcaster, Lingering Souls the best. And what he'll do is he'll put uh, Lingering Souls and Unburial Rites in my hand. That'll let me um, Unburial Rites back my Eternal Witness to grab my Snapcaster on my next turn. Murderous Cut. 
Lingering Souls. Oh my gosh, there we go. Snapcaster Mage. And I'm Barrel Rights. Where are you? There you go. I think I think that's the best. I don't know. Could be way off. It's so funny playing Gifts Ungiven. So we cast Gifts Ungiven, and then we sit there and think over three minutes, and then and then we you know finish it, and then our opponent sits there and thinks for three minutes. I think this is pretty easy for him to choose, though. Snapcaster Mage, Murderous Cut. Yeah, he gives us Lingering Souls on Burial Rights. So we're taking four. I don't think we play Lingering Souls next turn. I think we just on Burial Rights back the Eternal Witness getting Snapcaster Mage back to our hand. I guess we're worried about him killing us. We might just want to cast Lingering Souls. We don't really care about the value that he's generating. Um, we could just Lingering Souls flash it back. If our opponent has Thunder Maul, then we're dead. But I don't think he has Thunder Maul. Who plays that card anyways? You convert a Catacombs for a Swamp. Yeah, that lets us, like, next turn, Unburial Rites, bring you back Eternal Witness, and then we can get Murderous Cut and play it immediately. I think that's better. White, this, this, Lingering Souls. Flash it back. I have dudes. Polygon's command, I discard Misty Rainforest. He brings back Fulminator. He might just try to kill me with uh, Creeping Tar Pit. Two damage. Wow. He's going to try and burn me out. What did he return? Fulminator Mage. Seems like making me discard a card might be better. He knows we have an Umbreal Rites, and he knows about the Ghost Corner. Cast a Thought Scour. I guess if he has Lightning Bolt, that means I'm dead next turn. That's terrifying. But he has to fight through the murderous cut. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, like I have murderous cut on tar pit. That card's useless.
Yeah, so if we don't swing, um, it makes his attacking difficult. Like, if we swing, you can just attack him with Tasker. But now he has to think about, um, like, we can, we can uh, animate the tar pit, swing with everything. And then we can, like, block everything on the Tassiger. Murderers cut this. And then next turn we get to bring back our Eternal Limbs. Which is what I will do, I think. Yeah, I want to kill this Tassiger. If he drew a Lightning Bolt, he drew a Lightning Bolt. Delva's really interesting with this deck because we have so many things. We, we can pretty much get back anything that goes into our graveyard, especially with Eternal Witness. Slumberry Right on Eternal Witness, bringing back Snapcaster. Well, we're going to Raven's Crown first. We'll leave the Misty. If he decides to get crazy with that Fulminator Mage, we can just fetch up another color of whatever source he pops. And block every day. Alright. So now... Snapcaster for gifts. Blue, one, two, three. Gifts. Um, we'll just grab an Iona. Do we have another white source? No, we don't. All right, never mind. Um, all right, we we need to hurry. So, bring to light. Gifts. Uh, lingering Souls. Sigarda. I don't know. in the graveyard I imagine bring the light in the graveyard lingering souls interesting Yeah, so we can just bring to light for a Thrag Tusk now. Jace? Gross. Um, do we want to bring to light for something that kills that? I guess we could just Gifts first. For just a bunch of removal spells. Abrupt Decay. Maelstrom Pulse, Path to Exile, Life from the Loam. I don't know why Life from the Loam. I probably should have picked something else. No 
Nostrum Pulse. Crap. I don't think we have another black source. Uh, I don't want to go to three. All right. So one black green. Kill your guy. Life from the loam. Get some lands back. Really? Oh crap, I didn't do it for five, I just did it for some amount of mana. That's bad. Nope. No Baneslayer Angel for me. We'll just make a million dudes. He doesn't have any way to deal with this, does he? I know I played this poorly. I'm trying to hurry up and finish this game. It's been through 30 cards. It looks like he boarded out his bolts. He can call God's command back at Tasker, but that doesn't do anything. I ran out of cool stuff to do, I think, because um, I, I like, I think I made my gifts piles full of too much stuff. So then I just ran out of stuff to search for because of the stuff that was in my graveyard. Um, maybe I shouldn't have flashed back the unburial rites when I did. Uh, that would have left the unburial rites in the yard. Um, so like on another gifts pile, I could search up an Iona. Um, I kind of just like pass that up when I shouldn't have passed that up. But. As it is, he like, I guess he can play a Tassiger, which, uh, you know, blocks the Snapcaster, but he's dead in two turns. He could Kolagon's Command. And then I guess if he finds another Kolagon's Command plus a land, he could just like, you know, cast it twice. Hopefully it gives me the bring to light and I can just like cast a Baneslayer Angel or something. I mean, even the counterspell will be great for me. So he'll probably put the both counterspells in the yard. <clears throat> no, he's giving me the dispel and the gifts. <laughs> he can cast a lightning bolt twice, so... You've got to be kidding me. Ah, it's terrifying me. Yeah, that's not, that's not anything.
All right. Game three, five minutes. Whew. Speed round. Here we go. Um, I don't think we really want to change anything. Sultai Charm seems like it's better than I thought. Life from the Alarm seems poor. This hand is poor. So we're going to mulligan. This hand is even worse. Uh... Why, cruel world? Got there. <laughs> Come on, don't have another Jace. Come on. What are you doing? Oh no, we're dead. That's it. It's over. We're punished by playing the basic forest instead of the Verdant Catacombs. Uh, I mean, we would have been able to kill his Gurmag Angler. He would still be able to flip his Jace pretty quickly. Doesn't look like we have anything left. Um, I think I think the multi five hurt us more than anything. Um, but yeah, this I mean this just shows how how powerful Jace can be if left unchecked. Um, and we don't really have many ways to interact. So Jace especially punishes decks that are looking to grind but don't have a lot of interactive elements, um, which I think is pretty much just our deck. But uh, Jace is really good. And then uh, dropping a quick Grimag Angler and getting to work um, is pretty powerful. But this right here is showing exactly how powerful uh, his kind of deck can be. It looks like he's got us. I'm not even going to play the Stomping Ground. The shame. Yeah, he's just flipping his chase. But He animates Tar Pit, hits us with uh, Grimag Angler, Tar Pit, and Stabcaster, and it is over. Um, I don't know. I mean, we went two one. I feel like uh, I feel like had we not mulliganed to five, uh, this third game might have been a little bit different. But it seems like Grixis control um, our our opponent is slightly favored. I wouldn't call him heavily favored because we have a lot of things that give him fits. But um, yeah, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with the deck's performance. It was a lot of fun playing it, and um, two one is not bad. So thanks for watching, guys, and that'll be it for this week. I will see you guys next week.